This is an EEG of a 20-year-old man with new onset seizures. So we're looking at a double banana montage with left and right parasagittal chains over left and right temporal. And the first thing we want to look at, as usual, is the posterior dominant rhythm. Here it looks like it's about 9 hertz in frequency. It looks symmetric on the left and the right. Here there's a little bit of artifact, but if you look overall, it looks like similar frequencies on the left and the right and similar amplitudes. We see a nice frequency amplitude gradient here. It's well organized and we need to look for reactivity to see if the background changes. And here's a nice example of reactivity. The eyes are closed, they open, and we see attenuation of the background. Now you can notice right away that there's a lot of eye movements here. These are just jerky horizontal eye movements. This is what REM sleep looks like. The eye movements in REM sleep look just like that. So as we go forward here, I'm going to point this out. There are these little spiky spikes here. They're so narrow and sharp looking. If I saw these, I would just say that's artifact because they almost look needle-like. They do have little, maybe little slow waves after them, but that could just be background activity. So if I just saw this page, I would completely discount those. What's interesting, though, is as we progress, we see them becoming higher amplitude with clear after going slow waves. They're very narrow, but these are undoubtedly epileptiform spikes. And we can see more here. There's a little spike here, and we're seeing it in the parasagittal chains as well. Now we can change this to a, um, let's look in the Laplacian montage to see where the highest amplitude is. So it's highest in the left central region, C3. So that's where it's the most negative. And that goes along with what we're seeing here. We're seeing a phase reversal between these two electrode chains. So the phase reversal is at C3. That's the area of highest negativity. And I explained phase reversals and what they mean and how to figure out the area of maximal negativity in a different video that um, went over left temporal epileptiform activity. So I have a feeling the patient may be hyperventilating here. Yes, he is. And I thought that because of this artifact here, it's the head moving as he's breathing. And also the background does look like it is getting a little bit slower, subtly, but there is a little bit of slowing here. And we can see that with hyperventilation, it's a normal response. So now he's done with hyperventilation. And let's just keep an eye on that left central region and see if we see anything else. There's another little needle spike there. Again, I would just think that was EMG artifact, if that was all I saw. And some slowing here in the left temporal region. Again, there's focal slowing here on this page in the left hemisphere. So we're seeing it both in the left temporal and central region. So this is delta activity. and it's intermittent slowing, we're not seeing continuous slowing. So we can see drowsiness on this side of the page and then waking up here. Some more little subtle spikes in the left central region and more slowing on this page. So he's getting drowsy and then we're seeing more spike activity there. and more on this page as well. So as I scroll through, you can just keep an eye on it and see if you see anything. And here's another good example on this page of some little spikes. And some focal slowing here. more spikes on that page, more slowing, and the patient's getting more drowsy. 
So if he falls asleep, we may see a more dramatic picture. And here, that's a nice discharge there. And again, on this, on this page. And here's another one. So let's again just change the montage and look at it in Laplacian and see where the amplitude's highest. It's both at C, C3, so that's the left central, and then also FZ, that's the frontocentral. So it really seems to be coming from the vertex area, or maybe left frontocentral. And just more of the same here, again, more slowing, more spikes here, and this is photic stimulation. It's interesting, the spikes are really more central, frontocentral, but the slowing is more temporal. So there may be two things going on here. All right, so that's the end. Now this is an abnormal EEG due to the presence of number one, epileptiform activity seen in the left parasagittal region. And that is um, consistent with um, an area of cortical hyperexcitability and potential seizure focus in that region. Additionally, focal arrhythmic delta and beta slowing was seen in the left temporal region, consistent with focal subcortical dysfunction in this region. No epilep or no, I always say no seizures were seen during this study.